All right, so I've been doing this uh, three-quarter inch well face poly ESO, uh, and I did my whole ceiling with that. Worked out really nice, and, and these walls, it's working out really sweet. Um, and I just wanted to share this with people who, are, who don't want to do the whole wood framing and just want to put maybe wood over and, uh, and just insulate these sections here. This stuff has an R5 each one of these, so that's an R10. And the nice thing about it is you, you got all these screws down there that are coming through. So you can put the first sheet in this way and then you can push it right into the screws. And then the second sheet, you foil sheet, you can... Now, if you cut, um, it's uh, four by eight sheets. So if you cut it 27 and a half inches, which is this um, uh, sections, you end up with um, a 32 inch piece. I mean, uh, that you need 32 inch to go all the way to the bottom. And then you end up with a 16 left over. Well, that sweetly turns into 16 plus 16. So every time you cut a set 27 and a half inch piece, you have an extra um, 16 inch piece, which uh, then you can put in, you know, I'm gonna put it down in here and then put another one 16 inch piece that I have left over, put the full piece back in, in this, and just, you know, etc. etc. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna show you here. Um, I'm gonna put this in here. And um, you the have to kind of wiggle it in. There, and we have almost 16 inches. So it can probably be pushed in a little bit more. But anyway, what I'm saying is now you can put the other half piece in it. I'm gonna have left over for this one over here. Put the other half piece in there and then just tape your joint. And you got a nice R10 in the walls, flush with the walls and you don't have to do the whole build out thing and all that. And I'm just gonna put pine paneling directly on it. And uh, that's it. It's like I put my ceiling back on with this stuff. Uh, it's working just really sweet here in the walls. And so, haven't seen anybody do this. That's why I'm posting this. Okay, so when you pound it in, it goes in, goes in real nice, smooth. And we might have to do just a little trimming here still. Okay, we got we got winter here in uh, in, July, in August. Snow flying, and I, I wear a mask for all this all the time anyway. All right, so there it is in, and I'm going to tape these joints. And I'll all right, so there it is, the first one done. I don't know, maybe that took me 15 minutes. Hopefully it'll go faster and we got a lot to go. Uh, but as I kind of figured, my idea worked, uh, especially not having to take out, remove screws and try to force insulation in there. So you get the one sheet in, you move and then punch it over, put your second sheet in, tape it up, you're good to go. You got an R10 on the wall, should be good to go. I'm using the uh, three-quarter inch polyiso foil face foam board and uh, um, I used it on my ceiling and I figured it's going to work real nicely in the walls and with these screws that are hang sticking out on the inside halfway this works really nice because you can slide it in and I put a foil on it, face on the outside and foil on the inside on the second layer. And then we can just slide this thing in here. Mallet here and put it in.
trim off a little bit of excess there. So it's not overlapping. I won't uh, get in the way of the other two coming in. And then down here, I'm going to take my board and kind of push it in. So go make sure it, get it gets in those nails and then I have enough room to put my next sheet in. There we go. So that's nice and seated in there. There you got an R5 already. One more sheet, you'll have an R10. And we're gonna go cut that right now. Okay, we got our boards cut. Now the nice thing about this, and I don't know if this holds true for all buses, but this, um, all the sections, ceiling sections, these sections are 27 and a half inches. So you can get three 27 and a half inch slits out of a four by eight sheet. And when you, this happens to be 32 inches deep. And so when you cut off 30, 32 feet, or 32 inches from that's going to fit in there, you end up with a 16 inch piece. Well, one half a 16 inch, uh, one half a 32 inch. Uh, sorry, it's been a long day. I've been I walked five miles already today. I'm pretty tired. My brain ain't working. But half of 32 inches is 16. So, so you end up um, every other one you're gonna have, you can splice in those two extra pieces on the outside. I'm gonna try to do this full piece and see how this works. And uh, basically, it should just slide right in uh, slowly. But we're gonna see what happens here. And uh, we got a little bit left over here, but let's see if we can do a little pounding. Right here. Okay, I think we're good to go in. Nicely, got a nice R10, R10. Uh, the sheets cut real nice. There's not a lot of waste. And I'm gonna now take this, these joints here. Put that back down. And I will take my joints. Okay, another nicety here. Um, I've, you know, I've cut. This is a 27 and a half. Uh, inch wide piece you know and it's four feet across and you know since 32 and 16 are are uh, multiples um, of each other the sheet is divided into three sections and so you don't even have to measure you got uh, 16 and you got 32 and here's another 16 so just you don't even have to mark your next cut just Cut along the line that's in the sheet, and uh, there you go. Voila! So that makes it easy as pie. So you just have to cut out your 27 and a half uh, pieces out of uh, that. You can get three of them. And then you have your markings already on the sheets and uh, ready to roll. So out of uh, one sheet, I basically got three of the 32 inch pieces by 27 and a half and three of the 16. And as I showed you in the video, how you can use those. Uh, one idea I thought about is that it wasn't going in all the way. It might be a good idea to shoot some foam way at the very bottom. Yeah, actually I think that's a great idea. Shoot some foam at the very, very bottom before you put the sheet in. Then, 
Okay, so the foam idea is a good thing. I think that's a great idea. for the second half sheet. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Got another half sheet that's gonna go in here. up in order to get uh, the rust killer in there. Alright, now we'll take Voila, there we go. We done. Actually, uh, the section here had a wheel well. So what I did is I just sprayed foam down in these cracks in here, uh, you know, right up to there, and just cut some pieces, uh, spare pieces I had. And uh, we're gonna fit those in. years ago. I haven't touched the stuff since. That's why my brain is still intact. There we go. That's it. I think this stuff works as like a charm if you're not going to get all crazy about uh, condensation issues. And I mean, this thing is a thermal bridge wherever you look is a thermal bridge. So 
I just not getting into the whole condensation thing. I just gave up on it. Um, and um, I think it's going to work fine. You know? If anything's going to condensate, it's going to be this stuff right here. It's a direct link to the cold outside. So, anyway, here it is. Good luck. You use it.